Right, so now as we continue next with the second part, we'll be working with component and help menu. So um, when you speak of component, what is it that we exactly are supposed to do? I click on component. Okay, and now you can see here, these are the different options that are available here. So I click on component and symbol manager. So these are the different components that are available to us and these components, the diagrams and everything is also out here. So suppose if I were to create a small circuit, okay, with something like basic resistors and capacitors. So I'll scroll down here. Then you can select a resistor. So I'm selecting passive resistor. This is its symbol and I'll click on insert into schematic. So out here I'll come and I'll drop it here. So that is your resistor that you have selected okay uh, that you have uh, inserted into the schematic now if i want to move this i'll select this and i'll click on this rotate 90 degrees excluding text including text so including text i'll click this now i'll click on that excluding text so that's your r now if i click double click on this another window opens up you can also number the part id so let's name it as r1 you can also select auto assign part ID. So let's select auto assign part ID. And you can add the digi key also. There is a text height, text orientation. So these are the additional uh, component properties that you can keep changing. You can change the text orientation and the text height also. So I click OK. Now that's R1. Okay. And I'm rotating this. Uh, right. So this is how your R1 looks like. Now, um, this is just one simple component that I added. I can also add other components. So um, there is this component here, and then you can also click on this button here for placing a component. So let's click on this button. When you click on this button, then these additional uh, options will come up. So if I click on favorite components, let's click here. And I'll scroll down here and I'll select what? Um, I'm selecting a capacitor so I select capacitor and I click here so this is a passive capacitor that I've selected okay now what I'll do is I'll select on this and I'll move the capacitor click on capacitor including text I'll turn it around right and I'll drag it and put it over here what I'll do is now I'll connect both these components so I need a wire so I'm placing a wire here to here and then you can also move around this wire wherever you want okay so again once you insert the wire okay then you can connect the both the uh, components So as you connect the wires here, you can see that, um, let us insert one more component, come. And then we'll uh, go a little further in that. So I'm taking what? I'm taking a semiconductor LED, okay? I'm placing it over here somewhere. And I just uh, rotate it. Mm, we'll rotate this. Okay, so this is how, um, let us double click on this. Yeah, and this part ID, auto assign part ID, will change its orientation and I click okay. So this is how your part ID looks like. Mm. So uh, this is how your component one more component is placed now what i'll do is i'll connect the wires to the nodes of these uh, of this uh, particular component so what i'll do is i let me drag this here so i click on this wire here place a wire 
I come here, zoom in, bring this wire here, connect it over here. And then I press space bar on my keyboard so that I'm able to set the wire connection. So space bar. So once I do that, you can see here that this wire is now connected over here. And this is the joint that we have taken here. Similarly, I'll place a wire and I'll connect it over here with this point. And then again, space bar. So uh, this is how you draw your basic circuit diagram. So of course, now this is just one thing that we did. If you go in component, you can also like, you know, um, set this as a group. You can select the entire uh, circuit. You click on component and then you can select save custom component. You can also make it as a custom component if you want. And then you can group to make component. You can make component and symbol manager component information. There is an online library also that will take you to some external website, which is that of uh, Express PCB, of course. Then out here you can uh, put in the package title, description, and package category, and things like that. And these are some of the uh, components that are available to us out here. So these are the contributors typically who may have you know, added these components here or like contributed to these uh, this online community library. Let's close that. And um, so uh, this is how you draw the circuit using the components tab and of course uh, the toolbars as well. Let's quickly go on the help menu. So out here on the help menu, uh, you can see that this express schematic users manual and online help and you also have the quick start guide. You can also get the PCBs boards made. So let's click on this museum. Yeah, so now this is the online help that is available. So you can click on any of these. So let's select on um, uh, editing the schematic. So when you select editing on schematic, then it will tell you setting the properties of an item, moving items in the schematic, moving wires, deleting items from the schematic. So there is a good healthy manual for this that you can use to understand how to draw a schematic. And like, you know, how well you can make the changes or how you can edit the schematic. So there is an online help available here. And uh, that part, there is also a quick start guide that you can use. So like, you know, you can also, if you want, you can take a print of this and you can start drawing the electronic circuits. And that is how you can go ahead on this. So uh, this is what we have. And this is how you draw circuits and uh, we use components and uh, using the help menu. So now if you have prepared it, then you can also get your uh, PC boards made. So when you click on this, this the details will be sent to Express CP PCB. And um, then they'll place, the, they'll take your order and then based on the specifications, they'll design your PCB and send it to you. So this is how you are supposed to build your own PCBs and uh, design your own circuits or using express schematic. Of course, this is just an introduction. We'll be taking a, bit, a lot more complicated project, but this is how uh, you will work as far as the express schematic software is concerned using its um, applicable menus and the toolbars. Thank you.